like Tails' operation was a success. <sighs> Madam Hanya, Miss Kui, Su Shang, and Miss Trailblazer. Thank you, all of you. Are you the ones who brought Tail back? Well, where would we be without our squad leader? We had to help. Oh, so Scaredy Cat is squad leader? Well, well, look at you. Aw, oh, that's just what Miss Gwaineifen calls me. <laughs> Well, well. Tail actually does belong to Miss Wahua. Uh, excuse me? Despite Cirrus's scheming and calculating, they clearly didn't expect Tail to return to Huahua. Their plan to kidnap her was an utter failure. If they saw Huahua as she is now, it would break their will. Madam Hunter, urgent news from Fixtral Garden. The subdued Helia by are stirring again! Cirrus may not know the location of Tail, but they still figured out a way to divert everyone's attention. Uh, it's not because of me, is it? There's no need to blame yourself. This was Cirrus's plan all along. It looks like the end game that General Jing Yuan has been trying to avoid is fast approaching. Su Shang, please head to the seat of Divine Foresight and fetch the general. Let's hurry back to Fixtral Garden now, while there's still a chance to turn things around. It's time to teach Cirrus a lesson. Uh -oh. If it isn't the judges at the Ten Lords Commission, sluggish as ever. Oh, and is that Mr. Tail? Back to being a guard dog, I see. How delightful! This calls for a celebration. Still, after our last encounter, I have no intention of including you in my plans. To see Ignamar's most powerful fragment now burdened with emotions pains me. It's a pity, but you've become expendable. Who are you calling expendable? The Ten Lords Commission's Matrix is still intact. The Heliobi cannot leave Fixtral Garden. You may think you have the upper hand, but you're nothing more than a caged animal. You will never leave here. Leave? That was never my plan. I came to Fixtral Garden for one reason and one reason alone. To fight the LeFou's formidable general? He seemed fond of playing the waiting game. I merely capitalized on that. Well, you were all out on a wild goose chase. I rallied other Heliobi to my cause. How? Thereby increasing my strength. Thanks to all of you, I've amassed the power of every Heliobus sealed within Fixtral Garden. All I need to do now is wait for the General to make his grand entrance. Before that happens, I should keep my end of the bargain. Destroying you without leaving a trace. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, she's back. This is double speed. Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. 
Don't get careless. Oh, good. Another one of those. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh, what? Uh, uh, they keep on coming back for more. What should we do, Tail? Take it easy, kid. Heliobi might lack physical form, but they're not impervious to physical attacks. Cirrus is merely putting on a brave face. The moment they sense even a hint of defeat, it's over. They'll break into pieces regardless of how powerful they are. So, just like what happened to Ignamar, once a Heliobus realizes they're going to lose, they'll shatter? Exactly. And if there's anyone who can cause Cirrus to shatter, it's him. So, General, you finally decided to show up. Ready to face the music? Defeat my army and I'll give you the rematch you seek. My words hold true. As I mentioned previously, when Tang Xiao and Ignamar fought, the scales were balanced. But for you, Cirrus, this game was never about fairness, was it? And yet here we are. My power decidedly outmatches yours. Notions of rules and equal competition are mere illusions. Now, if you don't mind, allow me to show you how the end game is played. Lovely. Don't get careless. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Oh, a mere coin. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Now time. <laughs> Stand still. <laughs> oh, time to suffer. I'm okay. I don't know why, but sometimes I just have that luck when the enemy is like one HP alive and time for a plan. <laughs> I'm on guard. <laughs> Good times. Never time to say bye. Boom. Time to suffer. Suppress. We'll come. Subdue. Engage. Yeah, oh, she's alive. Right. Oh no. Too good to me. 
Lance ablaze. Lance power. Hit on foot. Stand still. Time to suffer. Suppress. Caution is bad. Not bad. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. By the town board. <laughs> Good times. Time to say bye. Damage. Boom. Unscathed. Naughty child. Nap time. Relax. Come on, time down. to suffer. Copy. Hmm. Yeah. Subdue. Ah. your defeat. You are bested. Hmm. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. <laughs> Lance ablaze! Lance power! Say bye to breathing. <laughs> time to suffer! Good times. Time to say bye. Damage. Boom. Ah. <laughs> Naughty child. Nap time. Relax. <laughs> I'm on guard. <laughs> Wait, when did he done the giant? Oh boy. Checkmate. Uh, uh, I concede. Good. Wow, that was quick. I am no ignore. I'm nothing. Nothing more than a faint flicker. I know of no faint flicker that could strategize such a fierce battle against one of the Rainbow Arbiter's generals. Uh, listening to a winner feign humility is enough to make one sick. The Heliobi may reflect our desires, but their fervent blaze is undeniably awe-inspiring. Neither General Tung Xiao nor myself would deride such a foe. I have been bested. It's true. I only sought to lock horns with you regardless of victory or defeat. Next, I'll... Next is eternal punishment. For an inextinguishable flame such as yourself, I see no punishment more fitting than to see you confined to a vacant abyss. Forever lamenting your past transgressions. Such is the fate that awaits you, Cirrus. <laughs> so be it. Mountains will crumble, oceans will evaporate, but the Heliobi will always be there, patiently waiting for their day of freedom. And that day will come. As long as the generals of the Sienjo live, my battle against them will continue. Until the stars themselves burn out. We have a bend down. You're here. I've just finished reinscribing the seal on Huofua's tail. Next. It's time to address the matter of Cirrus.
If I were merely starfire essence, then naturally I'd prefer to glide through the cosmos. <sighs> but after being entangled in your human world, my freedom is no longer that simple. I'm freer than ever before. I'm going nowhere. Good for you. Mm. According to the Ten Lords, Tail must be supervised by a judge. <laughs> I'll make sure to take good care of Mr. Tail. <laughs> Let's see who takes care of who. Mm, besides, when Mr. Tail isn't around, the other Helio by pick on me. I feel safer when Tail is here. <laughs> other Heliobi? <laughs> I'm the only Heliobus you need to worry about. Well then, I will take care of the Sira situation. As for what gets written in the Lofu's ghostly grove, I'll leave that up to you. One more thing. Don't forget to seal the Heliobi within the evil binding matrix. Yes, ma'am! I wrote to my mom about the recent monster slaying and demon fighting stuff I've been doing for the Ten Lords Commission. What did you tell her? I told her I went toe to toe with the sword fighting prodigy Yen Ching and held my own against fragments of Ingramar. But all she did was scold me for getting into trouble. Do you think she was being sarcastic? What could be more important than protecting the Xian Zhou from the threat of Heliobi? <laughs> Quit worrying, Su Shang. You've been an awesome squad member, and a very talented sleepyhead. Now, let's think about what to publish on Ghostly Grove. This is huge news. This post will definitely boost our following. Always on the hunt for more followers. It's called professionalism, all right? I'm counting on you. Okay, let's see the titles. Ghost hunting squad can now rest easy for a while. Speaking as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, I must thank you all for the dedication you've shown these past few days. You really minimized the impact of the Heliobi crisis. There may have been a few Heliobi that slipped through the net, but they are of no major concern. Leave them to us. I don't want to brag. But our articles on Ghostly Grove are the talk of the town. If we suddenly stopped uploading, it'd be pretty unfair to our audience. Miss Gwei. Madam Hanya, uh, please let little Gwei carry on uploading. I can't fall asleep without browsing Ghostly Grove before bed. <laughs> really? You seem pretty set on this, so I won't stand in your way. However, bear in mind that... Don't worry. We promise not to make your job any harder than it already is. I don't know why, but this response, the MC can give her, I'll just comment it Yeah, because some can get him.
and we're done. Too peaceful. Mm, why do I feel like someone's watching me? I don't know why, but I have a, a very scary reimagine of this. If you know, you know. Actually, is Himiko Kapi good or just not to wear hard stairs? Because I cannot remember. Oh, good idea. The Astral Express is so peaceful and majestic. I've only been in the parlor car a few moments, and I already feel calmer. <laughs> this place is the best. Oh yeah, I can remember we don't have a room. Although I kind of hope they're just gonna be give us a room and not an entire cult. So yeah, I guess this is over until the next update when we're gonna get the uh, Doctor Rexio. Wait, did I see Rex? I want to say ratio. <laughs> what is it, Hong? Bomba. Why do he looks guilty for something? Anyway, I should actually end here. <laughs> One hour, so I guess it's gonna be two episodes or so. Okay. This was kind of fun. Although the sexual, uh, imagine if I actually have to edit the other two recordings. Noise. Yeah, as a YouTube is not easy time to recall all kinds of let's play. Yeah. Maybe I should actually try to recall Foyna's quest that actually try to keep it for live stream. Anyway, that's gonna be issue after next week. Noise. Can you shut up? Well, hope you have a nice day. And see you in the next update. Aloha. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to grind for Kafka new shit. <laughs>